Hi folks, in this video we are going to go through how to produce topographic maps using ADEM. Firstly, we have to import ADEM to the software. You can choose a proper color combination for better display if you'd like to. Because it gives you a better visual view of the area. Search for the hillshade command here. Select the DEM layer. And click on OK. Here the hillshade layer was created. You can see the high altitude areas very well here. Go to the Image Analysis section. And click on your DEM layer and change the contrast of the image. By doing this, your hillshade layer is specified below the DEM layer. The reason for doing this is to show the high altitude areas better. In the next step, search the contour command. And apply it on the DEM layer. Find the right numbers for your area by trial and error. It is better to choose black for the color of the contour line so that it can be displayed better in the output. Select the label feature option. and go to the Properties section of the contour layer. You can change the font of the numbers. And also you can make the size of the numbers bigger or smaller. Right-click on the screen and select Properties. Choose a suitable background from the frame section. You can change the size of the main layer. From the insert section, select the north arrow option and choose an appropriate symbol. Place it in the right place on the map and increase its size. Select the scale bar command again from the insert section. And put it in the lower part of the map. You can change the font of the scale bar.
Also choose a background. And finally, set a map legend. Place the layers that you want to be displayed in the legend on the right side. Also choose a background. You can change the names of the layers and set an appropriate name. By double-clicking on the legend, you can adjust the legend font settings. And choose any font you like for your legend. Go to Properties by right-clicking on the map. And select the Grids option. Here are different kinds of grids that you can choose any of them. In the Labels section, you can change the font of the grids. Also, you can apply any setting you need on the grid. We choose another grid, whichever is better, that grid stays on the map. Create a new data frame. Place this data frame around your map so that it can be seen better in the output. Arrange the map frame. And from the file section, select the export option and export the output. The final topographical map has been exported. By zooming in on the map, better details are displayed.